Tarsal tunnel syndrome is a condition that occurs when the tibial nerve in your ankle becomes damaged or compressed. The tibial nerve is a major nerve in the lower leg, responsible for providing sensation to the bottom of the foot, and it also controls some of the muscles that move the foot and toes. It originates from the sciatic nerve, which is the largest nerve in the body, and travels down the back of the leg, eventually passing through a narrow space in the ankle known as the tarsal tunnel. This tarsal tunnel is a passageway formed by the bones of the ankle and a thick band of ligaments. Within this tunnel, the tibial nerve, along with blood vessels and tendons, passes from the leg into the foot. When the tibial nerve is compressed or irritated within this tight space, it can lead to tarsal tunnel syndrome. As the nerve is squeezed, it can cause a range of uncomfortable and sometimes debilitating symptoms, including pain, tingling, numbness, as well as shooting or electric-like pain that worsens with activity or weight-bearing. Causes of Tarsal Tunnel Syndrome The causes of tarsal tunnel syndrome can vary widely. One of the most common causes is flat feet, also known as fallen arches. This occurs when the arches of the feet collapse, causing the soles to come into complete or near-complete contact with the ground. When someone has flat feet, the natural alignment of the foot is disrupted. This misalignment can cause the heel to tilt outward, which in turn can stretch and strain the tibial nerve as it passes through the tarsal tunnel. The collapsing arch can also cause the tendons and ligaments around the tarsal tunnel to become overstretched or inflamed. This inflammation and abnormal positioning place additional pressure on the tibial nerve, leading to the symptoms associated with tarsal tunnel syndrome. Another potential cause is the presence of abnormal structures in or around the tarsal tunnel. These could include cysts, tumors, varicose veins, or bone spurs. Such structures can take up space within the tunnel, reducing the available room for the nerve and increasing the likelihood of compression. In some cases, people may be born with a naturally narrow tarsal tunnel, which predisposes them to developing the syndrome later in life. Physical trauma to the ankle or foot is another common cause. This trauma can be due to a single injury, such as a sprain or fracture, or repetitive stress injuries that occur over time. For example, athletes or individuals whose jobs require prolonged standing or walking on hard surfaces may be at a higher risk. Finally, we also have medical conditions that cause generalized swelling in the lower extremities. For example, People with diabetes, arthritis, or hypothyroidism may experience swelling in their feet and ankles. This swelling can put pressure on the tibial nerve within the tarsal tunnel, leading to the development of symptoms. Symptoms of Tarsal Tunnel Syndrome The symptoms of tarsal tunnel syndrome can vary in intensity and may come on gradually or suddenly. The primary symptom is pain, which is typically felt along the inside of the ankle and foot. This pain may be sharp, burning, or tingling in nature. Some people describe the sensation as similar to an electric shock. The pain may worsen with activity, particularly activities that involve prolonged standing, walking, or running. In some cases, the pain may radiate into the heel, arch, or even the toes. Numbness and tingling are also common symptoms of tarsal tunnel syndrome. These sensations typically occur in the sole of the foot, but they can also affect the toes. Some people may experience a sensation of pins and needles, while others may feel that their foot is falling asleep. In severe cases, there may be a complete loss of sensation in the affected areas, which can make it difficult to walk or maintain balance. It can feel like a part of your foot is wrapped in cotton, dulling your ability to feel textures or temperatures properly. In addition to pain and sensory disturbances, Tarsal tunnel syndrome can also cause muscle weakness in the foot. This weakness may affect the muscles that control the movement of the toes or the arch of the foot. As a result, some people may find it difficult to move their toes or to maintain the arch of their foot when standing or walking. Over time, if a condition is not treated, the muscles in the foot may become weaker and the foot may lose its natural shape. Many people find that their symptoms are often worse at night or after prolonged periods of activity. Many people also find that their symptoms improve with rest, particularly if they elevate their foot or apply ice to the affected area. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this.
Diagnosis of Tarsal Tunnel Syndrome The diagnosis often begins with a thorough medical history and physical examination. During the examination, your doctor will ask about your symptoms, including their onset, duration, and any activities that seem to trigger or alleviate the pain. They will also examine the foot and ankle for signs of swelling, tenderness, or muscle weakness. One of the key diagnostic tests for tarsal tunnel syndrome is tinal sign. This test involves tapping over the tibial nerve as it passes through the tarsal tunnel. If the tapping produces a tingling or electric shock-like sensation in the foot, it is considered a positive tinal sign, which suggests the presence of nerve compression. Your doctor may ask for an MRI scan which can provide detailed images of the soft tissues around the tarsal tunnel, including the tendons, ligaments, and nerve. This can help to identify any cysts, tumors, or other soft tissue structures that may be compressing the nerve. In some cases, a nerve conduction study or electromyography may be performed. This test measures the electrical activity of the tibial nerve and the muscles it controls. This can help determine whether there is a delay in the transmission of electrical signals along the nerve, which is a sign of nerve compression. Treatment for Tarsal Tunnel Syndrome The primary goal of treatment is to relieve the pressure on the tibial nerve and reduce inflammation, which will alleviate pain and restore normal function to the foot. Resting your foot and avoiding activities that aggravate your symptoms is often the first step. Your doctor might also recommend applying ice packs for 20 minutes several times a day to help reduce inflammation and pain. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen may also be recommended to reduce inflammation and pain. In some cases, a corticosteroid injection may be administered directly into the tarsal tunnel to reduce inflammation and provide longer-lasting relief. Physical therapy can also play a key role in the treatment of tarsal tunnel syndrome. A physical therapist can design a program of exercises and stretches to improve the strength and flexibility of the muscles and tendons in the foot and ankle. These exercises can help to reduce the pressure on the tibial nerve and improve the overall biomechanics of the foot. In some cases, orthotic devices, such as custom-made shoe inserts, may be recommended to provide additional support to the foot and reduce pressure on the tibial nerve. These devices can help to correct any underlying biomechanical issues, such as flat feet, that may be contributing to the condition. Wearing supportive shoes with a good arch support and cushioning can also help to alleviate symptoms. In rare cases, when conservative treatments fail to provide adequate relief, surgery might be considered. The surgical procedure known as tarsal tunnel release involves opening the tarsal tunnel to relieve pressure on the nerve. This is typically done as an outpatient procedure and can lead to significant improvement in symptoms for many people. While tarsal tunnel syndrome can be a painful and debilitating condition, the outlook is generally good with appropriate treatment. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know have tarsal tunnel syndrome? What symptoms did you have at first? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.